What's up guys, Alec Mac 111 and it is a beautiful fall Friday and yet again we have another unboxing but before I get into the unboxing I actually have a announcement of sorts. I got a capture card and a camera stream link I am thinking about streaming. For those of you that have been OG fans, I actually had an Elgato back in the day and I was streaming uh, World War II when it first dropped. I literally streamed it at like 3 a.m. and then didn't have a ton of fun that game and Fortnite kind of overtook it. Um, played a lot of Black Ops 4, loved it, have not loved Modern War fair but so far from what i've seen with cold war i am really excited for it i am xbox so i may transition to playstation but i think i'm going to try and film a few black ops 4 i see a lot of the cod pros go back and play black ops 4 so i think i'm going to stream some of that and if you guys end up liking that i'm thinking about streaming that on either my main channel um, on youtube or making a twitch so comment below whether you'd rather me do a twitch say twitch if you want to see twitch say youtube if you prefer that i just upload on youtube um, I'll still upload airsoft stuff, but I'll also just stream game stuff. I don't know if I'll actually do like uploads unless I really love it, but we'll see um, maybe if that goes really well and you guys really like the live streams and maybe I do something more like that or create a new channel. So those are three options. So new channel, um, YouTube or Twitch. Comment those before. I think I have a Twitch. I've just never used it. And then obviously I can upload on YouTube and do like a live stream on YouTube. So I got the HD60S and the Camlink 4K so I can use my 5D Mark IV. So hopefully we'll have that buttery, crispy, beautiful footage um, inside my crusty apartment. And so we'll do it. We'll do it together. It'll be here for us. I'm excited. It is unboxing time. Um, this is actually the first collection video I have done in a minute. So I bought this off of a guy on eBay. He was getting out of sport, and so this is his collection. He didn't have a ton of gear or anything. This was kind of just a more basic collection, but I have not done a collection video in a while. So if you guys comment exactly what I spent on this unboxing, it'll end with a zero or a five. I will send you a free patch and a free sticker, free of charge in the mail to you if you get the correct number. I think two people won the last one that I did, um, and so you guys will just message me if you are the winner, but let's get into this. Alrighty, now that we are in the box, this dude has actually packaged this really well. There's a lot of boxes individually, and there's a lot of bags as well. So we got one box, we have a line, and there is the gun. Come on, baby. A little bit of EPM right there, and here is the weapon itself. Alrighty, now that we have gotten to the bottom of the box and I have everything out here, it is time to get into the gun. So here, as you can tell, it is a SCAR. It's actually been a while since I've done a SCAR. I've not seen one of these in a while. I really love the VFC SCAR Ls, which is exactly what this is. VFC, if those of you that don't know, they basically have the highest level of SCAR on the market. It's the nicest, it feels the nicest, it's got the nicest trade, it's got the nicest feel, shoots the best, it's just a really, really good gun. So we're gonna go from front to back. It looks like he did not include any sort of flash hider. It might be in this box. We can kind of get to that later, but there's no flash hider right now. I think it came with like a suppressor or something. Looks like we have a JBU barrel based on the color of the outside. I'm guessing it's a JBU type bore. Um, this is a tango down grip, but it's kind of crappy. The upper is tan, the lower is black. I love these versions that are the mixed color. I think they look super good. I always really like mixing tan and black with my guns. I think it looks super dope. He included a G&G high cap as well. It is wound, um, but this is actually really nice. I've not felt these before. This is one that's kind of like a rubber, it's got some like rubber hand grips on it, and it actually feels really good. My dad likes to hold his guns by his magwell, like you see some of those airsofters doing, so maybe that's kind of what that's for. I always use kind of more aggressive grip where it's either like thumb over bore, or I'm gripping the front of the rifle just because I like to kind of get out a little bit longer. Um, but gun looks really nice. It does have a speed trigger on here, and then obviously inside with the hose coming out of the bottom, you would see a Polar Star Fusion engine. So it looks like it is a G&G &G green bucking from what I can tell on the VFC stock clear hop-up unit, and then it has a jack as well. So tight bore upgraded bucking. The G&G hop-up buckings are actually one of the best stock buckings in the market. They just do really well in all sorts of weather conditions, especially in the Midwest where it's cold. You kind of need that. It does feel like the pistol grip is a little loose. I don't know if one of the screws up in there is out. Uh, it doesn't look like there's only one screw in there, so I'll have to add another one. Looks like the threads are still intact, but it is a little bit wonky, so you can kind of feel that. Um, but like I said, black and tan I think looks super, super good. You got your cheek riser, got your little sling point there. He did include the iron sights as well, and let's get into the rest of the gun. This guy did an excellent job with packing everything. You can just tell everything's packed individually. Looks like this is the FCU as well as the Falcon 7.4 250 milliamp LiPo. And then here is, yeah, I thought there was a muzzle device. So it did come with a Noveski flash hider. He just kind of took it off for um, shipping, which is fine. You can kind of leave these on too. Sometimes I would say it's almost better to leave these on, especially if a bigger box like this, 
because sometimes that barrel can get bent um, and this flash header basically just protects it from the barrel potentially getting bent or something. And it does come to the end of that, which is pretty cool. These things basically amplify sound a little bit. I think they just look really good. I love the look of them. I, I just kind of think the trades are awesome. And that little flaming pig right there is super, super cool. Um, really nice gun. I do uh, am kind of a little bit worried about the stock. It does have a little bit of wobble over here, which kind of sucks. The FCU obviously will go in there, but it feels like this is a little bit bent or something. I know this gun has been used. This is definitely not in like like new condition or anything like that, but it is in pretty good condition still. Just definitely looks like it was loved, which a lot of these airsoft guns, you either see guns that are beat to trash that people have absolutely loved and treated really bad, or they're like brand new and they've been babied and they've only been fielded like once and then the person's got out of the sport, but super good gun. Up next, we do have his air setup. It looks like this is an SLP tank of some sort. It's an Airsoft Junkies. Definitely looks like it's an older tank. I can't even tell exactly what the saying is on it. Based on the size, I think it's like a 68 uh, 3000, 62 3000. So 62 3000 metal one. It looks like it will need rehydro. No, it's actually got a year left of hydro left on it. So year left of hydro. And then this line is kind of beat up, to be honest. It looks like it's a really cool little paracord job on here as well. But it looks like he has kind of left this to rust, which kind of is unfortunate. And then this is one of the Airsoft Junkies, just SLP regs, but this is an SLP tank, so that is good. And then up the last, but certainly not least, we have an Echo 1 Fat Mag, which has been through the ringer. This thing is really rusted, but these are actually really good mags, and they're not that expensive. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the EPM. You guys know these are the best mags. I will list these, and they sell out right away. They're just awesome. They feel super good. They are my second favorite mag besides the GMB High RPS mags because they're half the price. I really like those, but it's a nice little setup. I know this has been a shorter video, guys, but I wanted to get a video out this week. I'm not missing any weeks, um, and I figured it would be good to get another collection out for you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you said, like I said, in the streaming. Let me know in those comments. Don't forget to do that because those of you that are my loyal subs, I want to hear from you guys the most because you guys have been around and you guys are obviously the ones I do this video for. Um, I love my channel. I love being able to do this stuff. And I think it'd be really cool to branch into something else. This has been Alec Mac 101. I'll see you guys soon.